Question 16. Non-polarized light first passes through one polarizing filter and then through a second. If the intensity of light emerging from the second filter is 12.5% of the light that struck the first filter, at what angle must the axes of the two filters be with respect to one another? In polarization of light, the filter will only allow the component of light with certain oscillation orientation to pass through. During the process, the amplitude of the outcoming light is reduced with a factor of cosine theta, where theta is the angle between the axis of the incoming light and the polarizing filter. The intensity is the square of the amplitude, so it is then corresponding to a factor cosine square theta. In this question, the light after passing through two filters is reduced to 1 over 8 of its original intensity. We then can think of at least two combinations regarding the way of placing our filter. One is first having followed by quartering, and another option is quartering first followed by having. Let us look at the first case. This will require the cosine square theta 1 to be 1 over 2, while cosine square theta 2 minus theta 1 to be 1 over 4. Thus theta 1 is 45 degree while the angle between filter 1 and 2 is 60 degree. For the second case, theta 1 will need to be 60 degree while the angle between 1 and 2 is 45 degree. The options provided by the question do not contain 45 degree but contain 60 degree. So, the best option is then D.